Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, you always got to take an opportunity and it's always nice to get a bit more experience and then, like you said, to come back into the team and hopefully share my insights with the girls. Um, we had another two girls on this team also part of that Serbian trip. So, like I said, just building the culture, getting that experience and hopefully bringing it into this team and, I guess, lead by example. I'm interested. I think one or two games since uh, since my back, so I actually it's, it's kind of like an old person's injury, I guess. I've just got a few stress fractures in there, bulging discs, as you do when you play elite sport for a very long time. So something I'm constantly dealing and managing, but you know, anti-inflammatories help a lot and a lot of treatment. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Not so much this weekend. Like I said, I've been back and I was over in Serbia with the girls with the Opals team. So I have managed to play a few games. So I'm feeling pretty good. And I think our whole team give us great confidence, whether you've been out or you're in. Um, so no matter what, I always feel a part of this team and I feel quite comfortable here. So I think, like I said, I've got confidence and I'm feeling pretty good. I think all Tessa Lamy and I have been best friends now for 21 years, which is ridiculous. Um, I'm 29 years old right now, so it's been a while, but um, it's weird. It's a, it's a bittersweet feeling, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting. I like, I really like playing against our friends. Um, a lot of trash talk to be had, which is always entertaining, but it's a, good, it's a good amount of serious competitiveness with a hint of fun. And I think that's what sport is. And the fact that you can play at the highest level with your friends is just, you know, an amazing experience. Look, not really. We've had a few, I guess, disruptions throughout the year and we're trying not to make excuses. We're just trying to enjoy the rest of the season that we have and um, I guess keep getting better every day and learn from it. Um, and you know what, I think a few of us are looking forward to next season, hopefully doing one better and, you know, getting the championship. Absolutely. I feel like Bendigo and the Flyers have always been rivals. Um, we're both very tough, very physical, very competitive, and we're kind of in the same boat where we've lost a few games. So I think we're going to come out here and try and get two wins. So it's going to be a lot of elbows, I think, you know, like I said, trash talking as well. But yeah, I'm really excited.